hello folks and welcome to my channel if you haven't subscribed please do it now and hit the bell icon to get instant updates for today's project i'll be using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and a double knit yarn so starting our work with a slip knot secure the knot on your hook and make an even number of foundation chain Make a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook, yarn over, insert the hook in the chain, yarn over, pull up, pull up, you have 3 loops on the hook, yarn over, pull 3, all 3. Make one half double crochet in each chain. At the end of the row, chain 1 and turn your work. Make a half double crochet in the first stitch. We will now skip the next stitch chain 1 and make a half double crochet in the stitch after that. Again chain 1, skip a stitch and make a half double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat this for the entire row. Your row should end with a half double crochet in the last stitch. Starting the next row, chain 1 and turn your work. Yarn over and make a half double crochet in the first stitch. Now in this chain 1 gap, yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have 3 loops on the hook. Yarn over and go in the stitch below that gap which is the top of a half double crochet, insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Pull the loop long enough, yarn over again, go into the next chain one space, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have seven loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all seven. This is your first feather stitch, chain one. Now to make the next feather stitch, we're going to go into that same space. So yarn over, go into that same space, and then go into the space underneath which is the top of the half double crochet and pull up a loop yarn over again go into the next chain one space yarn over pull up a loop you have seven loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all seven chain one so continue making these feather stitches until you reach the last stitch so now i've made my last feather stitch and for the final stitch I'm going to make a half double crochet in the last stitch. Now starting the next row chain one and turn your work. Make a half double crochet in the first stitch. So yarn over go into that first stitch and make a half double crochet. For the first feather stitch, go into that first chain 1 space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go into the chain 1 space below it, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull the loop long enough. Now go into the next chain 1 space and then pull through all 7 loops. Chain 1. So continue making your feather stitches. You will have to push the feather stitches that we already made to look at those chain 1 spaces. So continue uh, completing this row and the number of rows that you want for your project and I'll just do one more row in front of you just to show you how it's done. So here's the final look of the feather stitches and these uh, long loops will come as we work our way up. It's a nice fabric and it can be used for blankets, jumpers, bags. And the front and the back side of it, this fabric is identical. There is not much difference. You can use either side. 
So if you like my video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.